On a personal level, I was going through a huge life change when the pandemic hit. I was to step down after 30 years um, as artistic director and resident playwright at McCarter Theater in Princeton, New Jersey, which was under my leadership, a theater that was particularly um, um, mission driven to put on stage who we are as America. Um, and who we are as a world. So we were as a core value to our institution under my leadership dedicated to producing and developing the work of um, uh, stories by and about women and people of color. So we were there for 30 years. Um, when I decided to step down was um, the year before and I was going to do it on July 1st and yet end of February, beginning of March, my gala season, my, my final season had to be stopped. And um, I was dealing with what most arts institutional leaders were dealing with, which was shuttering, closing down and how to do that responsibly, responsible to our staff, to our artists and to our community. And it was very painful and very difficult. I made sure that we got healthcare. I started to raise money so that our staff would have healthcare throughout the pandemic, that I would be able to pay all of the artists we had uh, said that we would produce, including the designers, the playwrights, um, the actors. I wanted to make sure that we were not um, saving an institution, um, an arts institution at the expense of artists. That was a huge mission and we were able to accomplish that. And then I had to put everything we could online to try to keep in touch with our audiences. Um, so that was a huge challenge and one I felt we met on a lot of levels. Um, and then of course um, we were hit um, with the slaughter of black Americans um, uh, by police around the country. And um, particularly when George Floyd was murdered, um, our industry went into, um, the theater industry went into um, real grassroots activism. And I was very um, excited to be a part of that first as an institutional leader and then um, when July 1st hit to continue doing that as a freelance artist and an arts advocate. Um, I'm almost feel guilty to say that I had a lot of wonderful time once I stepped down because I hadn't, I'd been overworked for 30 years and now I had brain space and time and heart space to be an artist again. So I've been writing up a storm um, some of them on social justice issues. Some of them I'm writing a, a musical with Lucy Simon and Su Susan Birkenhead, which is a love story, which I've wanted to do all my life since what all I've done all my life is write about social justice. Now I got to write um, something about love. Um, and um, I've been able to direct, I directed Night of the Iguana with Felicia Rashad and Dylan McDermott on Zoom. Um, and my play Having Our Say is getting ready for a Broadway revival, which it seems particularly useful at this time because it's wisdom from two African-American sisters, both over a hundred years old who give us the history of all of this, as well as um, we bathe in the humor and the delight and the humanity of these women and their voices have the ring of sanity. And I think we need to hear from them right now. So I'm very pleased that if there is a Broadway, um, and I think there will be soon, um, that will be one of the offerings. So I've been very active um, politically and very active artistically. And strangely, it has given me um, the opportunity to have a reflowering.